So what we got here is we got a digital scale yellow jacket. We can use this to figure out how much refrigerant we have in the tank. All right, and we have to actually weigh in the refrigerant when we're recovering, especially systems with large amounts of refrigerant, because we do not want to exceed 80% of the tank capacity. How do I know what the tank capacity is? Well, there's some numbers stamped here on the side. All right, one of them is the tear weight. That's the weight of the tank. And the weight capacity, the water capacity, is if we filled it up with water, it could handle 47.7 pounds of that. Now, we're not going to use water. We're going to use refrigerant. So there'll be some vapor and some liquid mixed in with it. Uh, and we just nominally, that's a nominal size. We just round up to 50. So this is a 50-pound tank, and safely, we don't want to fill it more than 80%, which is 40 pounds. So that's 40 pounds is the max amount of refrigerant weight plus the tank weight, which is 28 pounds. So if I had an empty tank on this scale, it would just show up as 28 pounds, but this is not an empty tank. I can feel that there's a little bit of refrigerant in it. So if the tank weight is 28 pounds, an actual weight of the tank plus the material in it, the refrigerant in it, is 32 pounds, that means I have about four pounds of refrigerant in it. And then if you watch the other video, we can hook up the gauge to see if it is really R22 or not using the PT chart. So other things about the tank, they're yellow on the top and gray on the bottom. They are reusable. These are the ones that we use for recovery. And they have two colored handles that are not consistent with the manufacturers. This one is red for liquid, blue for vapor. And they could reverse those so that the red would be vapor and the blue would be liquid. All manufacturers don't make the same thing. And then there's also a stamp on the side for the testing of when it was manufactured. So this one was manufactured in 07 and should be retested every five years. So this one should also be retested. It's due for its testing, actually overdue by about three years or so. So this tank will go in to get tested. Uh, they're regulated by the DOT, Department of Transportation. And uh, really the only thing they need on them is a 2.2 non-flammable signature thing.